the second channel, man, and the beat from the intro is provided by Show and Proof. There's a link in the description below that's going to take you to downloadpass.com. From there, you can find this particular beat tape because I'm live streaming it. And get the contact information via Twitter, and if you holler at me to get some beats, tell them I sent you. But anyway, on to today's reply, and we're going to talk about the two tracks that Drake just dropped. He actually dropped three, but you know, I already reviewed the first one. But so, Drake dropped that Six God and Heat of the Moment, and I got to say, my favorite of the two was the Heat of the Moment, but still, overall, it wasn't that good of a song. I love what he's talking about, man. Pretty much, he's talking about some core key issues that he really needs to fucking talk about, but yet he gets caught up in the Heat of the Moment with a woman type shit. But my problems with that is, first, it's been done before and done on a high level. Like, that's the same exact concept that J. Cole had on Lights Please. And Lights Please is a much better record. And I'm not saying that because it's more rap and this song was r and I'm saying that because it was a better fucking record. And second, it sounds more of the same of what Drake has consistently put out during his fucking career. And then that Six God Man, first you listen to that beat, you like, okay. The beat is lacking, but yet it has a catchy feel to it. Like, if Drake did something lyrical to it, it could have been something. But yet, he hopped on it and said absolutely fucking nothing. And I hate it when rappers do that. Like, you hop on a song to big yourself up just to talk shit or something, man. And you don't say anything in particular. And that's something that rappers should never fucking do. Whenever you hop on a song... You should have something hot to say. You should have something catchy to say. You just can't put out a song just to put out a fucking song. Honestly, I don't recommend people peep out either, man. I mean, even though they weren't that terrible, they weren't anything special either. But anyway, on to Ask, Download, Pass. And Trilla Truth says, How do I feel about underground rappers, man, that's trying to come up not having a plan B and not really applying themselves to succeed and shit in this game? Like, he hates to see his people man really get stuck going nowhere and I'm gonna keep it 100 with you my dude I have no problem with rappers who are serious though serious rappers that's pushing towards a music career to not have a plan B because you really undermine yourself when you do that shit because you are either in this shit to win and go all the way with it or you're not See, these people that be having plan B's and shit to music, they end up spending more time on the plan B than actually on the fucking music. So how the hell could you actually think that you were going to succeed at something when you're not putting your all into it? But I feel you though, man, there's a lot of people out there that's not applying themselves because they focus so hard on wanting to just make the music and then complain about why someone else is getting put on or complain about how they're not getting a chance and shit. But yet they don't focus anything on the business. They don't focus anything on promotion they don't give a damn about anything but the cool things to do about the rap game man they don't go about the fucking hard work that's gonna take fucking years to do that no one wants to fucking do see those people are going to be stuck in their ways regardless there's nothing you can do about it but it's something that I tell people all the time if you see the same fucking TV show coming on doesn't mean you have to fucking watch that shit. These people that aren't serious, that don't know what the fuck they doing, that really want to talk that bullshit about how they want to be a rapper, but yet their actions have nothing to do with it, you could just let them do them, and then they'll come back later. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.